Alrighty. G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream, hope you're doing good. Or maybe even better than good, who knows. Uh, we got the new Wilson refresh today. I'm assuming you guys have seen all of the stuff already because it's been it's been out for like two weeks in the beta. But we got the, the animated short, which was very nice. I liked it. Um, it gave us a few little pieces of information. Um, g'day JJ, g'day Rainy, g'day Parade, g'day Hyper, g'day Sabe, and hello to everyone else. <laughs> Maybe we find some more g'days. Maybe we don't, I don't know, depends on you guys. Love the animated short. Yeah, I really liked it. I, I mean... Is that a surprise? They've all been pretty damn good up to this point. There aren't that many that I've disliked. Um, it was interesting, it seems as though Wilson's house was once Wagstaff's house. That was the impression that I got. Muggle skin looks like a fairy belt. Oh yeah, we'll check out all the skins. All of that stuff. Uh, did Wilson would have got maybe one new skin, I think? Oh, look at him in that little jacket. What is that, a toggle jacket? <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> it is a toggle jacket. Okay. Um, oh yeah, all of his other skins become heirloom now. Yo, the barber. Oh. Is this, uh, what's his name? Scissor hands? No. Is he a barber? He's a barber, yeah? Or is it the other one? I don't know. Sweeney Todd, yeah. Same guy. <laughs> but it doesn't... Mm, does it look like Sweeney Todd? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty good skin. Has that kind of vibe. What is... I don't understand what this has to do with Wilson, though. You, sir, how about a shave? Is that something that Sweeney says? <laughs> Some might find this barber's methods a bit too experimental for their taste. Okay. I don't know. I need to pull up a picture now. I don't remember. Sweeney. Uh, he doesn't have like the white streak in his hair. But other than that... There is a resemblance. Okay, yeah. Cool. So that's that. G'day Mulligan, how you doing? Um, we also... Oh, my pet is in there. Okay, cool. Um, we got some belongings, didn't we? Ah! Cactus watering can, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Why can't I scroll like that? Decorator's collection. I feel that would be very uncomfortable to use, I would say. Mushroom planter. Okay. I need to see what that looks like with actual mushrooms on it, though. Produce scale. Eh, yeah, that's okay. Excited for the Wilson Daddy. Is it? I don't know if it's going to be like everyone needs to play as Wilson, but it'll be fun. I think most people will. I'm not decided yet if I will or not. This is cool. I think a lot of these things would look nice as just items. Like I would, I would just put that on the floor and that would look nice on the floor. Same with this. This is a waterfall can though. It's not a watering can. Nice. 
Because uh, once you get the waterfall, then you're not really going to use this, are you? Mogul skin, finally. But, like, how does that even look like? What does that look like when you put it on? I can't even understand it. Does it, like, slip over your head like goggles? I guess. You gotta put yourself inside there. <laughs> That's cool. Meat effigy. Like, golden tips. What is that? Oil torch. Okay, yeah. I like that. Again, I need to see what it looks like when it's on. Fish scale matic that looks cool. I like how the numbers have like little gold plating behind it. That's a good one. Dualocyte Club! Nice, because like I saw all of the writing and I was like, what is, what is a mace? I can't think of what a mace would be. That looks cool. Doesn't really look like a club, but it looks cool. That also looks cool, but it's like a razor or whatever. And then we got some posts and stuff. Dock piling, nice. More dock piling, nice. Nice. It's a monkey! Not a monkey. And a banana. <laughs> I can finally live out my Donkey Kong dreams. Let's go. Do we get another beard for Wilson too? Yeah. Nice. I'm missing a few beards. No vignettes. Come on, Clay. Okay. I think that's about it. Mace is just big metal thing on a stick. I thought a mace was supposed to have like spikes on the end. It's like a stick with a ball on the end. Does the animation come out? It has. Yeah. It's quite good. I suggest you watch it. It's a morning star. No, like in real life. Time to get my kitty out of hibernation. Good night. Just straight to sleep. <laughs> Alright, we'll play a game and then we'll jump into the server. I had to move the server back out of the beta and it's always kind of annoying when you do that. But I think I got it working. Ah, shit. Ah, it's fine. do it this way. What is that? 14 I need there. That'll work. I need 16. Dang. Uh, let's put that in there. Decision. Ah, it's too high. Too high. That'll do. I'd like to try and fill up this corner square if I can. Nice. Nice! Ah, oh, shit. I'm stupid. <laughs> I didn't 
realized it would work. Oh, okay, cool. That was even better. Oh, oh, very close. Forty-two, Joe. Come on, man. Good score. Here for the drop. Let's go. It's a good drop too. Uh, how am I doing for the drop? I think I've got the first one. Um, I'm 40% of three hours. So got about two hours to go. A bit less. Cool. Well, we'll be here for a good four hours at least. So if you're looking to get the drop, you should get it in that time. Did I K? I guess. <laughs> New Thor Sight Club looks good. It does look good, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to get some of those skins. God. Skeleton is maybe WX original body. You reckon? That's a, a big presumption. Read the back out of the stream. Okay. Will do. <laughs> Don't fall. Fall for the scam. Look, you guys have too many points, okay? You can you can spare some of them. If everyone in chat gives like 200 points, then we'll, we'll get some new g'days. They'll just magically appear in the back room. Like, you know how when you ask uh, a team leader or whatever, like, oh, do you have any of these in the back? And they go out in the back and they know that there are none there. They'll magically appear in the back. <laughs> Trust me. Someone in the comments said it looks like the shape of the skeleton from WX is short. I don't know. That's that's assuming so many things. I think most of the the characters in the game have a pretty similar shape to body anyway. And it's also assuming that WX was modeled, you know, directly after the person who he originated from, I don't know if that would be true either. Like, it could be. I'm not saying it's not true, but... It's, it's a lot of speculation. I'm not sure why that is rainy. There seems there's always a limit on the on the points. Maybe they don't want it so that one person can just fund it all. <laughs> Cuz I know there are a lot of people in chat that probably could as well. Wow, setting your points to hell instead of funding g'days. See, if we don't get any more g'days, you know who to blame. <laughs> Just mean.
Maybe one day we'll actually get into the server. Hey! That'd be nice. What do we? Autumn. Hell yeah. Why do I have a thermal stone then? What was the last thing that I did? Oh my god, they're all spoiled. <laughs> like, immediately spoiled. Let's see if I can get some eggs. Oh no, my pet is dead too! <laughs> oh shit, big. Oh, my map is gone again. Fuck's sake. Does anyone know which file the map is? Or just like transfer it over. Please add. We'll have to wait for a mod to come online. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> you guys have a tornado watch? Damn. Stay safe, dude. Um. Oh, he spawned over there. Gonna go eat the honey. Hmm. What are you doing, sir? Well, I mean, at least that's going to keep him busy. Don't have to worry about him stomping where he shouldn't be. He lacks depth perception. Yeah, I think he lacks intelligence. I mean, luckily, I kind of remember where everything is on the map at this point anyway. But it's really freaking annoying. I don't want to have to discover it all again to show on the map um i think maybe i just maybe i just uncover it this way i don't think anyone will think bad of me if i do this it'll show more of the ocean but like i've discovered everything in the map i think i think we'll do it In fact, I've discovered everything twice, so <laughs> I think I get to do this now. Thank you, Stampy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do a poll because chat has a habit of being a bastard to me and they would tell me that I'd have to discover it all again. I know you, Joe. I know you too well. Yo, Glooms. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, guys. How are you enjoying the new patch? Don't mind me just uh, revealing my map. Totally not cheating. You're welcome, everyone. Oh, it's all spoiled. Do I have any food that is not spoiled? We got eggs. We got eggs, chat. <laughs> G'day, April. Thank you, Mayo, for the follow. I swear, I was just saying, like, the other stream, Glooms always catches me when I'm doing, like, the, the shadiest stuff. Bobby's got like a really shitty opinion of me now. <laughs> like the one time I was playing as Wigfred. I swear I've never played as Wigfred ever again. But he, 
happened to find me that time, I swear. Alright, it's all good. We're playing this wolf gang now. Um, I gotta get a bird and... Do I have any veg? No. Well, we got some of this, I guess. Um, I wanted to actually plant some grass and twigs and stuff because I it's been 500 days and I still haven't done any of that so I think I'll do that and we can use some of the rot for that too chickens you know chickens would be good in this game I wouldn't mind although I would still like I would still like to get some bread and like wheat. Ever since I saw that in uh, the gorge and all of the like the cook pot and the grill and all that stuff, I still hold out a little bit of hope that we'll eventually get that like a farming and cooking part two one day. Maybe it's uh. Wishful thinking. I first have a... Is a Wigford stand? <laughs> Look, I don't mind Wigford. I think she's okay. I, I hate the hunger though. The hunger sucks. I think eventually in this world I'll probably turn into WX just so I can chill and I don't have to really worry about you know winter or summer to put in different circuits. I think that's my my plan. Uh, is there an uptime command? I don't think so. I thought you can just see it on the on the player, can't you? Never played Wig, she's not fun. Well, how do you know if you've never played? Oh, well, why did I make a pickaxe? What the fuck? He did one of these. Is there a way to stop the weeds and stuff from spawning? Do I have to till all the soil? I should just dig up the farm. I don't even use it. It's more more maintenance than it's worth. What? It doesn't go in there? It doesn't go in there. Okay. Install the server fun? What server fun? What did I miss? Um, wait, how many grass do I have? I wanted to make like a, a wicker bottom farming thing, so I'm gonna need a lot. Hmm, I reckon maybe, maybe a hundred or even more, I don't know. I need to do a Wigfrid boss run? Dang. <laughs> I've killed like basically all of the bosses at this point. I don't know if I'm about to do it again, although... I actually will have to do it again, a lot of them, to get like their ornaments. I have some. I should have kept Winter's Feast on, to be honest. And just done the boss fights during Winter's Feast. So, we'll have to do it at some point. Oh, you mean Gloams? Yeah, no, nah, that, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Hmm. 
Have you guys been playing as Wilson? Can anyone vouch like is he... Is the skill tree good? I had a little test at him like when the beta first came out. But nothing that really makes me want to play as him all that much. Not for an extended period of time anyway. Maybe just like to swap and uh, do a bit of crafting and that's about it. Is that what we think? Skill tree is good, you can put food in beard. Ah. The true Wilson perk. I think for me it's one of those refreshes that it's like I can acknowledge that it's good for you know new players and people that like Wilson or whatever but it's just not really for me. I don't think it was aimed at me and it's yeah I'm not really gonna play it. Worms was playing Wilson? Nice. Yeah the gems that sounds nice. I guess when you get to a point where you have just like a million gems and you need a specific one, that would be good. I'm not really at that point yet. But again, like if I do get to that point, I will just change to Wilson, you know, swap over whatever gems I need and then change back. Like I'm not really going to hang around. The skins look nice, yeah. Pretty good. I don't think there are any that I'm like, yo, it's so nice, definitely, you know, absolutely need to get that one immediately. I don't think there are any must-have skins, but there are some pretty nice ones. Oh, we didn't put the whole system in place just so Wilson we can, we can throw a torch. I don't think they'll do it for everyone. Nah. I would be surprised if they did. Not even the moguls. Look, I'm happy that there are mogul skins. But man, like, that, that one's just not it for me. <laughs> like, what is that? I'll probably still wear it, though. I'm not a believer? What, in the skill tree? Would you want a skill tree for every character? I don't know. This is an RPG. It's like a sandbox game. Ninety, okay. I can't count, so... Look, I'm happy that the refreshes are done, okay? I don't want them to go back and do more. Another round? God, no. Let's get the actual content now, thank you. I think, like, I'm fairly content with most of the characters how they are anyway. So this would just add another layer of things changing and Think some things that are good now could be not as good or some I don't know I think there are still a few characters that could use with a mini refresh like Winona maybe Woody but that's that can be its own thing it doesn't need to come in in the form of the skill tree more reworks guys no we just got out of it they've been doing reworks for like four years let them be. Poor Clay. Alright. So that's all that. Now we gotta go get the tweaks. Do I even have, like, any tweaks? Oh no. <laughs> Look, there were no, no refreshes on the roadmap, okay? 
So you're going to have to wait until at least 2024. Thank you, Vertigo. Good day. Monkey stuff. Well, we got some monkey posts. That count as monkey stuff. I gotta find some food. I gotta find some food real quick. Uh, I could kill Pega, but I feel like he has work he could do. Uh, ideally, we find like a. Oh, he did break it. I think. Yeah, he did. He managed to to figure it out. <laughs> Bro, I have honeycomb. You can you can eat it. I don't care. Like it was on the floor before. Why couldn't you eat it before? I'm gonna take your hair. I don't even think he wants to eat it. Just doesn't want me to eat it. Hey. You're getting a bit close here. Yeah. Discord has themes now? Yeah, I saw. Do you even like the themes though? I'm not sure if I really like them. Seem a little bit too full on for me. That was awful timing. Just like, stay in here. Stay here. Like the Crimson Moon one? I was rocking that for a little bit, but I don't know. It just seems too much. I think I went, put it back to the default dark theme. It's probably something that you would need to keep on for a while to get used to, I suppose. Thanks, Zubski. Did I get rid of all the spiders? Oh, there's one all the way over there. Let's see. It could be a... It could be one that I've already killed, but I just didn't go and look at it. We still have all of these guys. There we go. Also, half of the half of the themes are too bright. I think, I guess they did half in like light mode and half in dark mode. But yeah, I don't see myself really using them. It's nice to have though. Hopefully, they get it so that you can make your own one. That would be nice. Oh, there is still one. Okay, there's going to be a spider queen though. Spider Queen just pops out of nowhere. <laughs> light mode is painful, yes. I'm not sure if I ever had it on light mode. 
As soon as I installed Discord, I was just get out of here. Um, well, we got a little bit of meat from that. Why are you two so slow? What the fuck? Okay, uh, for those of you who haven't been watching this gameplay, there were like 20 spider dens in here and last time I played I set them all on fire so there's probably a bunch of spiders still running around but for the moment it, we're clear of dens so that is a big improvement. Now we just need to do the same for here. It only shows that there are four but there's probably like 10 now. And... Here, and then we should be free of spiders. I've got like 20 spider eggs in my base, so it's not like they're gonna go extinct, but I just, I don't like them. They, they overspread too much. It's really annoying. Look at all these. We gotta clean this up too. Yikes. Also, we were here for twigs. I got two saplings. <laughs> have spiders in caves. That's true. Yeah. Like, even if they did go extinct, I don't think I'm going to miss them. Maybe I should come back with a uh, lazy forager or something. He slip. <laughs> yeah, I should have cleared them a long time ago. That was my mistake. I let them go and then they got out of hand. Oh well. I think this world also came with many more spiders than I'm used to. I'll, I'll pick up the flint too, but... I just can't carry everything at the moment. Um, thank you, Replayed and Cypher DST. Appreciate the follows, guys. What kind of chaos? Yeah, uh, I know I'm playing as Wolfgang, but we had a, a bit of a Willow situation over here. <laughs> Burnt a lot of things. Luckily, most of the trees are petrified anyway, so... Uh, I should take those too. So much flint, I know. I think... I think I have two flint chests at home, so we would be able to take it back. Eh. Oh, my hat has 1%. Just realized. Who's that? Is that Vega? It's like a, an acorn. Take it.
Good day, colleague. How you doing? Alright. Let's head back for the moment. I'll have to return. I think this is going to be a fairly chill stream. We might get in a couple of boss fights. Um, we did champ last time, so there aren't that many left. Oh god. I think we, we still have Malbatross left, but I, don't, I think I'm just going to... I'll do that when I get to it kind of thing. I'm not going to really go out and try to find Malbatross. I don't care about Malbatross, to be honest. But we also... I don't think we fought the twins. I was thinking about it after my last stream. I forget about that one. We've done the new boss. Yeah, I've, I've killed the new boss like two or three times. We might do it again, because I'm sure that the new resource will be good for something. So I might try to get a bit of it now, while it's kind of easy to get. Who knows if they're going to make it harder in the future, or more valuable in the future. Never know. You guys have any have any theories about what the dreadstone is going to be good for? I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty excited from the roadmap. Definitely fed into my theories of what the game should be. Um. Oh yeah, any birds. No. <laughs> I was gonna give this to the bird, bro. Just talking about how it's dead. Um. Do I have a bird cage in here? Or a bird trap? No. Oh, I already had one. Damn. Pretty little token of mightiness. I think it was Beggar, because I can't think of who else would have been in there. Get a skin for the helmet. Oh, the obsidian one. Yeah, I don't know. I think it it might be a while. It's pretty new. Do I have these? No. I think I I want these though. We've almost filled this up. Oh, and spider hats. Gotta get me some light bulbs and glow berries too. We're just slow on everything, you know. That's what happens. I feel like I I take an extended break from like being around my base. You know, whether you go into the ruins or you go fighting bosses or whatever, then you come back and just need to look after everything. Just falling into disrepair. <laughs> Um, what is, no. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just have to go with omelettes. I had that bird for a really long time too. It's kind of sad. Okay. 
Oh, and my food is gone. It did not last long. Alright, so we could get some twigs in here, maybe. Oh, wait a second. There's another one? Hmm. Actually, that they take all of the things that the monkeys stole from you, right? That goes in the in the loot stash. So that could be a lot of uh, a lot of saplings and banana bushes and stuff. <laughs> Let's go check it out. That's another thing that I was thinking about possibly doing today. There are a lot of monkeys on the moon key. Be nice to to take some of them out. Reclaim that land and then destroy their houses and stuff. What's my theory on what the game should be? Well, I've I've always wanted them to have like some kind of hard mode. Kind of like in Terraria when you defeat the wall of flesh and from the post that they they put out it seems as though they're going in that direction they were saying something about how you know you can kind of align your world or whatever you can make choices in your world that will affect the late gameplay and they talked about the the new resource being a part of that so it makes me think that that's happening. Obviously still speculation, but... Dislike the idea? Well, the point of it is that it's optional. So if you get to that point of the game and you don't want that, you, then you don't have to. Like in Terraria, you could stay in in like the early stage of the game forever if you want. You don't have to fight the Wall of Flesh. And if it's a similar thing in, in DST, well then that would be cool. And I also think like hard mode is a bit of a misnomer. I don't think the game necessarily becomes harder. It's just like a, it's a gate. Like it's a way of keeping, keeping that content on one side and you can unlock it if you feel like you're ready for it. So, I mean, yeah, the bosses are, are tougher and creatures become stronger, but you do too. So it's not like it's unfair. DST isn't just about fighting things, but about building a fun place to live. Yeah, well, my thinking is that depending on what you choose, like the game doesn't necessarily need to become harder. It could just become different, you know? Maybe it becomes easier. If you just want to relax and build things, maybe that's an option and that would be perfectly fine. Like I'd be happy with that. That's kind of the point of the game that I'm at now as well. I don't really want to do a huge amount of fighting. I'm just going to chill, fight a few things if I have to, and then we'll, we'll do some building. But like, that's always been the, the MO of, of DST. It's, it's rarely forced you to do anything that you don't want to. Like there are only one or two bosses that you really have to fight. And even then, like you can get around it if you really don't want to. Everything else is just, it's your choice. You do whatever you want to do. As long as you can survive, of course.
I say grumpy. Alright, I think we got all of the twiggies in here. Yeah, as for the giants, the only ones you need to fight, like Deerclops and and Bega are the only ones that come to you. And Deerclops attacks you, yes, but you can just like lead them away. And Bega doesn't even attack you unless you have uh, like honey on you. It's not like a uh, single player don't starve where it was just like everything is, you know, really coming in on you and you have to try and survive it. DST was, uh, they tried to break away from that and it's more of a you choose what you do in the game and you how you survive and whatever. For the most part. I mean, obviously, there's a there's a caveat that you need to kind of understand the game a little bit. I think that goes without saying. Like, even if you if you have like two hours in the game, you're probably not going to be taking deer clops to to the swamp. But that's with any game. Oops. Um. So is this going to be enough? We had a hundred grass tufts. And 43, maybe we get a few more. I'll make a bird cage, a bird trap, need some grass. Oh no, I need some silk. I might need some grass. Ah. You know, I don't think I've ever actually killed Dragonfly in, in solo, don't starve. I've just never like, been around. When it's summer, I'll just go to a different world. I'll go to Hamlet or I'll go to Shipwrecked. Actually, ooh. What if we get... We try to get a puffin. I like a puffin. So we'll try to put one on the dock. I don't know if the puffins will spawn on there. Ah, oh, Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> Would they land on here? Hopefully. Oh. Go away, red bird. Maybe not. Although you could just like maybe put it to sleep and then pick it up. I think if you froze it and it was on the water, it'd probably sink. So I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Come on. Did I land on boats? I think so. Hey, nice. You is small, feather friend. Oh, I did have bird. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> 
could get a canary too. Okay, well you get eaten then. <laughs> It'll make room for the better birds. Yeah, he's cool. Like him. And we can just put that with the other one. Will I remember that it's here if I need it again? Probably not. Did it make noise? Um, you tell me. Did it make noise? I don't think any birds make noise when they're in the cage. Alright, what kind of meat do I have? What was this? Also, is it actually going to be full moon today? Because if it is, then I can I can get some meat that way. I can't tell. Sometimes, like the moonstorm is not on and it still has that visual. I actually, I'm already pretty hungry. Let's not do that. Fifty K too high for five days? Well who knows how many that, that I will find back there. I could find six find seven even. Thank you again guys. Don't trust him. Look, we've already raised 33,000, okay? We don't get the next 17,000. It's all going to go to waste. <laughs> Can I tempt you guys in some nice pigskin? No, not yet. How do I not get slapped when fighting champion? Um, You just need to learn the fight. You just gotta practice it a few times. I think the first phase is not that hard. You just like dodge in a, in a square shape. Or a triangle shape. And uh, second phase, make sure when he when he's about to start doing the spinning move at you, you you hold your dark sword until he starts and then you can run away with that because he matches the speed of, um, he matches your speed when he starts running. So if you hold out your, your walking cane, then he'll go quicker. Yeah, no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> it will make it, I'm fairly sure. Like, I've only been live for an hour and we're already, what, 70, 75%. Thank you, Chrisms. Okay, good. Boy, guys. Oops. Some lovely food for you over here. Where are the rest? Hey. Over here. Doing the hit first. Mm 
Maybe I should put armor on? No. That's yeah, fine. Build Cobble Arena. I built a Cobble Arena. I think it's still helpful for the other two stages of the fight. But yeah, you just need to practice. And make sure that you have, you know, enough armor, enough sanity or insanity food. And then you'll be fine. And health, obviously. Um, Glomer's group is nice because you get health and it keeps you low sanity. Thank you, Nizal. Knight armor. Eh, it's okay, yeah. <clears throat> I think... What did I go with? I was gonna bring marble suits, but I forgot them, so I just went with bone armor. I only got hit, like, once, anyway. So it didn't really matter. It's a bit of a flex. Um, oh, I put my thing away. Like, you can still walk on the cobble, as long as you just change to your dark sword, and then change to your walking cane when he after he starts, then you'll be fine. Because like I said, he matches your speed. So, as long as you can increase your speed after he starts, you'll be good. I should get some honey. Honey ham would be really nice. Instead of bacon and eggs. What would you say is better? Bacon and eggs or, or honey ham? They both last the same, yeah? Knee pants. Oh, you started on cobble then you walked out. I see. <laughs> Just go... Build more cobble then, <laughs> or or walk around in a circle. Bacon eggs last longer. Does it? Oh, okay. I know bacon and eggs does last like 20 days, it's nice. But honey ham... I think IRL, would you prefer honey ham or bacon and eggs? You'd go with honey ham, right? As nice as bacon and eggs are... Is? Are? Are. You'd go eggs over honey ham. Damn. Maybe like as an everyday food, I would take bacon and eggs. Like I wouldn't want to have honey ham all the time, but it's like, it's like a special meal, you know? A luxury. Uh, I need to make another shovel. Not the biggest ham fan? Okay. Maybe it's just me then, like, it's something that I would rarely, rarely ever have. So it was kind of nice. Same with, like, lobster. I don't- or- or crabs. I've probably only had that, like, once or twice in my life. 
So it's kind of hype. And now that I'm an I'm adult, I have my own money. Maybe I should go out and, and buy a lobster. <laughs> and eat it. Although I, I wouldn't even know how to prepare it. Come on, mom. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Have you guys ever had those moments where you're just like, you know what, I have my own money, I'm gonna go buy X. And what have you bought? I think for me it was nice just to be able to, you know, buy games and stuff. If I wanted to play a game I could just be like, yeah, I'll buy it, I have money, I can do it. Um, I can't carry these things. Lobster is only something I have in sushi. Wait, you have sushi with a lobster? Damn. Didn't even know that was a thing. Cake. Hell yeah. Tools? What kind of tools? Like, to make things? Thank you in the phage. Welcome. Six hundred dollars on book stuff. Damn. I mean, but if it's if it's Sanderson, that's fine. <laughs> you should have been forgiven. You don't buy snacks that you want because of your brother, but you want to buy lobster? Yes. Precisely. I mean, honestly, I, I also don't really like the idea of- I want snacks, but I know it's something that I, I shouldn't really eat that much. I gotta buy snacks that are, like, better for me. We've been buying more nuts lately, and nuts are kind of good for you. Like... I might, I've been trying to eat more fruits and veg as well, so I might like cut up a carrot or an apple or a cucumber and have some, some walnuts and a piece of cheese or something. And like, that's, that's a lot better for me than it's like a thing of popcorn. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. How many do I have now? 64. Okay. Do I like salty nuts? Yeah, I guess. I think I'm pretty picky when it comes to nuts. The nuts that I like. I like walnuts. Uh, pistachio. Almonds are okay. What else? Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Honey roasted almonds? I don't know if I've ever had them. I don't really like cashews, no. Pecans are okay. I've only ever really had pecans in, in pie form. And I think the pie kind of carries it. To be honest. Macadamia. Yeah. Most of the nuts fall into the category like I can eat it. 
but I wouldn't like seek them out. I would just like eat it if it's there. Developed a nut allergy out of nowhere. <laughs> That's mean. Oh, you like this food? Have this allergy. <laughs> you can never eat it again. What the fuck? Body sabotage. I'm pretty fortunate. I don't think I have any allergies to food. Uh, how many? 80. You fear unlocked though. I think it's it's possible that something like that will happen I think with milk or gluten as you get older you can just like develop an intolerance my brother says that sometimes when he has milky things or creamy things it doesn't doesn't sit well with him I think I'm okay for the most part. Or maybe I just don't have that much. I only have a little bit of milk with my coffee. And coffee kind of makes you go anyway. Starting to think becoming lactose intolerant. Oh no. I, that's like one of my greatest fears is like not being able to eat things like bread or, or pasta. That's all I eat. I need to diversify my diet quick, just in case. I think it would be cool. I I would love to just go to a doctor or go to some kind of clinic or whatever and just get every single test done and just be like, find out what I'm deficient in, find out if I have any allergies. I think I'm allergic to like dust or pollen or something like that or both. Because I always, I, I always get like allergic or allergies or whatever when it's, you know, spring. That kind of time or when I'm cleaning my room but it's it's very mild but it would just be it would really cool to know I would love to see um, like what if after all this time I've just had like really really shitty iron levels or something and I need I needed to have had a supplement you know for the last 10 years that'd be good to know Fucking hell. It's <laughs> back and forth we go. Wait. 62. Okay, that's enough. We only needed 100. Run out of space on her back. Damn. Oh yeah, because they would, they would do like little spots on you. Like you see, I've never done it. So I don't even know what it's like. I've only read about it in books. <laughs> Without a reason to look, testing more likely to result in false positives? That's an interesting point. I guess. But, I don't know. I... I feel like my body is tired and I don't know why. Like I feel, I feel relatively awake and alert, you know, I wake up, I go about my day and I, I'm okay, but I just, I, don't know, I feel like I look tired and I just have like a, a pervasive tiredness underneath. I don't know if that's caused 
to to get looked at or whatever but i'm in the process of adjusting my sleep so maybe by I, I fix that up it's the pasta no <laughs> I've been changing that to kind of like I've been trying to eat more fruits and veg a bit more of a balance even for tiredness is more pasta see now that's what I like to hear <laughs> but to pick between both explanations I think I might go with that one Thank you, Rocco. Alright, so we have all the grass. We have all the twigs. Now we'll just have to plant them somewhere. Permanent bags. Even if I've slept well. Yeah, I do too. And it's really annoying because I feel like I do sleep well. But like, I also, I didn't always have that. Hmm. I think I'm going to make this over here. Maybe. What pasta is the best way to cure? Ooh. I... I'm going to go with the tortellini. You can't go wrong with the tortellini. Alright, I guess we'll we'll start with the grass. You know, I could even plant these monkey tails. I don't have that many though. I have twenty 22 eh, and get reeds that way but I could do I could just plant a lure plant or two in the reed trap and do it that way that's probably easier because my plan is I'm going to change to to wicker I think I I don't remember if I said that or not um I'll take two because I don't know how big this is going to be Check things like hemoglobin, thyroid. Do we need to lose weight, eat better, exercise more? Yeah, I think as for weight, I think I'm okay. I think my my BMI is within the normal range and I'm not like overweight. Um Eat better, probably. Exercise more, probably. Also, I'm going in the opposite direction. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I should try to eat salad more often. Oh, you guys are here. Man. I wanted to do stuff here. I could go... Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the corner. I just want to put it somewhere... A little bit away. Uh, I think there are beef flow here, too. <laughs> Maybe we'll just put it here. I I don't have to move it later. Oh well, I might have to.
You know, I don't think I've ever played on a world that's not the normal size. I think it's always been the default. It's interesting. I'm too scared to make my world big and small is no fun. Eat a lot of cards at once. Yeah, I'm aware of that, like the, the glucose levels or whatever. But that, that makes sense. That's something I'll, I'll have to work on. I think I probably should try to try to eat more ah try to eat more protein instead of carbs because like protein is is more filling as well. Luckily there was a shovel here. I know, Guav, I know. <laughs> it's sad. Up until 4 a.m. playing DST. Mamma mia. What are you doing? I don't even remember the last time I was up until 4 a.m. full stop. Uh, let's plant this guy because it's going to take a while. It takes a few days for them to grow anyway. Pizza store is opening on my block. <laughs> Do you not have pizza stores nearby? I have a pizza place that I can walk to in like five minutes and they make pretty good pizza too. In fact, I have like multiple. I have a, a pretty main road close to me. So I would have like, you know, 10 places within walking distance as well as a KFC. But I resist. I hold out. I'm not from Canada, no. Giving away pizza location. <laughs> I don't think you can find me based on pizza places. Ultimate Italian moment. <laughs> yeah, I might be might be Australian. I always I find it interesting the people that uh can't quite pick the accent. Because to me, it always, I always thought it was very obvious. But I've had, you know, people call me British or, or German I've had, or... Yeah, can, Canadian, American. I don't know if the eyes will get to this point, but... Actually, I'll make a new plant.
Never heard of the accent much before. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, there aren't that many of us. Uh, I don't know how far across to go. So, uh, it's one, two, three, four, five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Demon doesn't notice his own buddy. What am I supposed to say to you? <laughs> Hello? G'day? Did you redeem the g'day? I don't think so. Oh, this guy. Okay. That'll do. I think. What? Out of the Wilson rework, what is your favorite thing about it? Was my favorite thing about it? Hmm. Can I include the boss? I really like the boss. Although it's not really, it's not kind of part of the Wilson stuff. But thank you very much for the biddies. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, then the boss. <laughs> Thank you, Alistair. Appreciate it. Ah, you. <laughs> the Enrico incident. Ah, yes. Never forget. What the fuck? I could throw it. Good evening from Puerto Rico. Nice. How you doing in Puerto Rico? Um, I have to. Oh boy, that really does fill up a lot of the map. Um, I have to fertilize them now. Good use for my rot. Finally. What's been happening in Puerto Rico? I don't really hear much about it. Yeah. 
So I need 200. Right, that'll do. Oh wait, no. This one doesn't need fertilizing. Okay. Only 100 then. Get it ads for allergy test. Nice. <laughs> I swear, like, the ads are so egregious these days. Like, you talk about something once, and BAM! It's full of those ads. Even if it's something that you don't care about, or you might already own. Like, I could be talking about a, a game that I, I've already bought, and BAM! I'm getting ads for it. It's like, you already have my money. Save it. Uh, thank you, Captain Bless. You play DST on console? No. I don't have a console. Well, I, I have a Wii. That counts. I don't think so. I <laughs> don't think that's quite what you were asking. Hey Speedy, did you get your tip right? <laughs> Everyone got it right. That's the joke! You did it! Old Puerto Rico vs Dominican Republic baseball game. Wow. Let's play baseball. Cool. Alright, so now we just wait for those things to grow. Oh, it's almost winter. Oh, we should put this away for the moment then. Eh. What do you do with the 2% Mooncaller stuff? Deconstruct it, I guess. Yeah, I think I have to deconstruct all of those. Do I have an extra crown? No. Okay. Install a mod in order to eat the moon caller staff. Right. <laughs> That's the thing that people do, is it? I think that would have been like a good solution. There are a lot of items that you just have too much of and they added like a way for you to burn stingers for example. But it would be good if there was just a rubbish bin and you could just put things in there and they would die. That would be nice. Best way to fight Fuel Weaver? Look, I still struggle with Fuel Weaver myself, okay? Um, best way would be... Maybe... I don't know, is Abigail good? For fighting Fuel Weaver? Maybe so. Maybe playing as Wendy? Ogolith's item grinder. Yeah, I've seen that one. Was that uh, Keynux? That's that's what I was talking about. Yeah, but I want like that as an actual item. Um, thank you, Zach, for the follow that I missed. E, let's go.
use lure plants. Yeah, I, I do that too. That's, that's the best option, but it takes them a while to eat. Like if you feed them 150 things, they're going to be eaten for a fair while. <laughs> Winona catapults. I haven't tried. There is a cheese you can do. Like you can you can block Fuel Weaver from walking back to the the gateway with lure plants, and then you you uh, use your lazy explorer to oof outside of the the atrium, and then you you just set up like either I guess catapults wouldn't work because they would destroy the lure plants. But you can use uh, Houndius, Shudius, and then just sit there for 20 minutes. <laughs> if you have the patience and food, I guess. But it depends. Like, you need one. You need to have space out there. It sucks. Like, there could be spiders there, or there could be other creatures that spawn in that point. Or you might not have room, and then you just can't do it. I think I could set that up. I did that in my work world, because... I found fighting Fuel Weaver as wet was just really fucking tough. Merms didn't help that much. Oh, the lure plants are not going to spawn in winter. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. That's a bummer. 20 minutes. Yeah, it legit takes 20 minutes if you have one. And, uh... Half as long if you have two. I think um, I have a mod where I can speed time up, so I just sat there and, and sped it up a bit. <laughs> Best I could do. Have I fought the new boss? Yes, we fought the boss twice or three times in this world. It was pretty good. It's good fun. Um, I want to go downstairs and get some light bulbs and glow berries, so we could even go and, and look at him. I don't think I'll fight him now, though. It's a good boss fight. I enjoy it. Oh, this way. Nah. Where are you guys going? Okay, that's fine. He respawns every 20 days. But I like that he's in the in the caves now. Before he could spawn in like 60 different spots around the world. At least now it's like, you know where he's going to be, roughly. It's good. Last cave boss was five years ago? Really? Toadstool? Dang. Thank you, Roro. Where's the Wolfgang potato farm? I, I think I do have some potatoes. I already grew them. But they don't last long. Like, even if you have... 10 or 20 potatoes in your inventory before you get a chance to eat them they've already spoiled it's kind of sad as much as i love potatoes and it's a good uh favorite food for wolfgang yeah, i don't know it's not that great i tell you what i'm gonna love having this crown oh man Wait, is winter when you get the blue spores? Ooh, I gotta get some. I definitely need to get some. I wanna get a little baby blue. Also, is there a mod where I can just keep this fucking thing closed? It's so annoying. It always opens whenever you go to a different shard. Wolfgang benefits the most from favorite fruit. Uh, what about Wes and the, the crepes that he can't make? 
and he doesn't even have the stomach to, to eat it all. I love that, that's so funny. <laughs> Made potato mash for last night dinner. Hell yeah, man. Where was mine? Where were I? Where where was I? I was at you knew where I was. I was at home. He still didn't bring any. Terrible. I expect an apology. Ah, so here's the guy. Ichi! Cowards. So, I'm thinking maybe I get some extra light bulbs and I put them in the glow caps, mush lights. Kill him and then eat him? What is it with you and eating things? Let's see, how is my drop going? Ninety one per cent. Nice. You know what would be really nice? Depth worms. How about it, game? Is that the first thing that comes to Wally's mind though? Wally's animated short always makes me sad. I feel bad for the guy. Maybe he's just trying to distract himself. G'day Phoebe. 45k out of 50. Almost there. <laughs> Help, but I'm planning on spending my points to hell. Fair enough. So where is the nearest blue mush? I think um it was like the swamp, wasn't it? Swamp sinkhole. Maybe I'll get some reeds while I'm there too. There we go, everyone's sending their points to hell. <laughs> I 
Oh, we can fight claws too. Once the king of the nightmare throne. Interesting. I was playing Hollow Knight the other day. Killed the nightmare king. Yo, we did it. Nice. Some new g'days. Let's make it happen. Alright, um... Hold on, chat. See how many I can find. Ah, here they are. <laughs> I see, I see. All right. There you go. There should be some more. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, they go quick. Fuck it out. Where are you going? Okay, that's fine. Is that all of them? Are they gone? God damn it, chat. Hot off the press, yeah. <laughs> they had 21 times the price. Hell yeah, you better believe it was worth it. Alright, let's... Let's spit out some g'day, uh, g'day Speedy, g'day Chris, g'day K, g'day Moose, g'day Joe, g'day Catchy, g'day Toxic, g'day Roro, g'day T-Dog, and g'day Mulligan. So, so you did grab one, huh? This guy would rather send his points to hell, but hey, if new g'days come on the market, he'll take them anyway. I see. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight champ. I don't wanna have to restock these things all the time. I still have two more in here. I don't have enough. Oh no, is there just one more? It's just one more. I think I was gonna put another one there, but I never got around to it. I could put, uh... I could put... What's gonna call it? Uh, this... Spores. They last long, right? Nice try, Sloth. <laughs> Funny phrase never heard before. Really? I bet that would sound very strange then. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to fundraise some more g'days. It's, I don't know, I've, I looked everywhere. I'm not sure if there are any more. They could be, but, uh, it might cost a bit. What do you think? <laughs> you know where they are? Alright, well then, when you when you come past to give me the the mashed potato, you can show me.
I think you might have mentioned it once or twice, Kay. They're all gone? Ah, That's sad. You know what, let's make some... Make some meatballs. Need to travel to the birth site of all days. <laughs> We're just going to uncover more G'day lore as we go. Well, let's see how many do we get. Okay. I think that's worthwhile. Once or twice not enough. I never get tired of hearing it. Um, oh, I put it over here. How many? One, two, three, three. You hate Damon, then Speedy hates you too. Wow. <laughs> Speedy's just like changing size at the drop of a hat. <laughs> but thanks, man, I guess. Yeah, Michael. Oh, Michael, did you see I beat uh, I beat the night making, and then I, I did it again in the in the Hall of Gods with the Ascended. I think I'm good at the game now. Is this a full thing? I think it's the full thing. I'll have to make another one. It's not in the VOD. Um, I beat him in the VOD, but like in the actual game, but then I, I did the Hall of Gods stuff later on. That was just me. And I beat the first Pantheon too. It was kind of annoying because almost all of the bosses in the first Pantheon were not that hard, but then the boss right at the end was tough. Like that, I needed to practice a fair bit for that one. Like, Oro and Mato. With the Yoso. They were tough. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. I guess next I'll, I'll try to work on the second Pantheon. I need to practice the... The paint master dude. Is my beard grown? No, unfortunately. This guy does not have a beard. Unless you mean in real life. In which case, also no. <laughs> what are we gonna do to Kay? What the fuck? Why am I involved in this now? Am I not allowed to let Kay just hate me from a distance? Oh, no worries, Ruby. Carry on, as you were. I'm also new to Twitch. I've only been streaming for like three years. Oh, 
Alright, shall we go look for Mr. Claus? I think I will take... What do I need? Ah, oh, I want to take the jelly. Yeah. Let's make this fight quick. So then I, I probably won't need any... Any sanity. Or any health. Or sanity. I'll have this, so it's fine. Then I'll switch to that. I'll take my pan flute. I'm going to kill like the... The Krampus is in two hits. Can beat one boss on Radiant. He's doing Bosch for us. What boss can you fight on Radiant? I I defeated the the regular Grim on Radiant, but I could only do the Nightmare version on uh, Ascended, which is still pretty freaking good, but. I'm proud of myself. What pet would you say is the best one? Uh, I'm a fan of the Yulet. I'm a Yulet main. He's relatively quiet and relatively cute. Oblo B? What is Oblo B? Do I have a sign pre-built? Yes. Nice. Look at me planning ahead. Oh, he's here. Oh, this is actually a nice spot. Kind of. Yeah, no, I, I kind of like him being here. Big circle, guys. From Colosseum of Fools. Ah, oh, those things. Yeah, fuck them. There's hula dudes. Don't remember them. You should play Hollow Knight Speedy. I know you'd like it. Why don't you trust my judgment? When have I ever been wrong before? <laughs> Can I paint your nails? Yes. Of course. I don't think I have very nice nails though. Maybe because they're not painted. I'm glad you guys came before I started the fight. I appreciate it. What colors? Uh, red and blue, probably. Sorry, Guav. G'days have been funded.
pastel yellow. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm I'm open to suggestions. I don't think I've ever painted my nails before. Mobs naturally regen health over time. Um, I think some of them do, but a lot of them don't. I think a general rule is like friendly mobs will regenerate health, but aggressive mobs will not. Don't hold me to that though, because I'm not 100% sure. Years ago, I used to color of mine in. I don't remember that. <laughs> what, with like a texter or something? <laughs> you guys stay over there. You did? Oh my god. Um, I'll only need one, I think. That goes back in there. Make another sword. Um, who are you? I think the question is, who are you? Stupid pigs. He got burnt. <laughs> it's the pig. I feel like I'm hitting slow. Remember sack? No. Pig, are you fucking kidding me, my dude? Stop it. <laughs> Don't hit the deer. It's the number one rule. Stopped now. Run out of sanity.
Do you click or use hotkeys to change between weapons and cane? Um, I change for the cane normally, but sometimes I'll I'll press one to to put my my lantern out and things like that. I'm traveled home. Thank you very much for subbing up. Appreciate it very much. Hope you've been well. Oh! I'll get him. And thanks for following too. And uh, thank you Huntman and Milosh and YP Pison for the follows. Appreciate it guys, while I was, while I was fighting. Oh no. Could have been Daryl. No, it's not Daryl. Daryl's still in our, our season six world. Safe and sound. I hope. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. You guys want to guess what we're going to get? Need a bit more sanity. Eyeball, of course. Besides the eyeball. Because <laughs> we always seem to get one of them. I reckon we'll get a, a lovely desert stone this time. Melba Bill, ooh. Lava Egg, I like it, I like it. Mandrake, but not Sack. That's fine, we've already got a Sack. And I would like a Mandrake. Quid crown. I wonder if they'll change the loot so that you can get um, the blueprints or the, the drops from the new boss. Do you guys think that's a possibility? Or maybe it's too it's too end game because I know you can't get fuel weaver loot and you can't get celestial champion loot obviously, but they did they did give us uh, crab king stuff. Sack for archive display, I guess. Yeah, but like there's no rush on that. Right. We got four big ones. That's surprising. So maybe we did get a sack. Got a lot of items in there. Ooh, hey, we did get a mandrake. Nice. And a glow cap. Don't need that. And a desert stone. <laughs> Let's go. No eyeball chat. What's going on? Are we finally free of the curse? Oh. Uh, thank you, Power Colo, for the follow. And a sack! <laughs> oh, Speedy, you spoke too soon! <laughs> there we go. Second sack. You could tell the big presents. The big presents. Now, nah, Speedy, you clearly said Mandrake, but no sack. <laughs> yeah. 
How does it feel to be wrong, like the 10% the chance? Uh, there is a new code, yes. I think it was uh, not clever or something. Long gloves. Why do you think I say no sack? Ah, oh, come on, Speedy. Maybe I need to organize some of this. <laughs> nah, who am I kidding? It looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Wow Kevale, for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, let me see, how is my spider farm doing? What do we got from here? Hey! They're breaking shit. Where are these bunnies? They were all just like huddled in a corner. Oh, there was a spider queen, I think. Maybe? Or maybe not. Okay, he's just gonna paint everyone in chat snails. <laughs> oh yeah. Are the bunnies a lot scarier than most things? I don't think that's fair. They are quite intimidating. But as long as you don't pick up the meat, you're fine. Look at the lovely silk they've got me though. Uh oh. <laughs> Might need to help out a bit. Hey! Um. Oh, they did it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I helped. Well done, guys. See, that's why you make 10 bunnies. You can get away. I think 8 is like the limit of what they can handle. They'll be able to take care of the Spider Queen. But it's just... You know, make a couple extra, then you don't have to worry. How dare you eat the meat? How dare you? Alright, I need to do a, a bit of repairs, it seems. Oh, even on this side too. What's going on? Um, do I have fences already made? Yeah.
I have those ones. I think now would be a good time to fight the twins as well because night is pretty long. Give me plenty of time. Although, like, you can do it across multiple nights, right? What turf is this? This is, uh, it's modded turf. It's from Hamlet. I think... Can I show it here? No. This one. Ancient Ruins Stonework. If you've played Hamlet, you might recognize it. The mod is called Not Enough Turfs, by the way. Right. Let's get the meat. Will they wake up? I tried to play Weber and Hamlet, had a bad time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would have been a bad time. WX is uh, is the Hamlet cheat code. I don't know why you would want to play as anyone else. Let's get the, the thunder power. Um... We could try to fight the, the twins. I don't really remember much about the, the strategies. I guess a pan flute. Take some of that. World with Wilbur. Nice. How is the how is the new like don't starve beta? Or the, the hotfix or whatever they've done. I haven't really been I haven't played it for a while, obviously, but it seems like they've made some really good changes. What is the, the new seed thing? What does that actually do? If you know. Uh so there's that. Should I take Maybe I'll have one of these? Why not? And I gotta take this. It's not gonna be full moon though. Might get some more nightmare fuel. 
Need at least one more. I mean, that should be enough. Take that. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to need to touch it. Cool. That works too. Or we'll just turn on. Seed of Ruin regenerates single cave shard. Yo, nice. That's that's what I was hoping it would do. All right. Let's hopefully one comes over here and I fight that one. this on I think He's quick. What? Oh, I thought that was mine. It's, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's sleep a bit. He's gonna go away. But that was tough. A lot harder than I thought. It's so it's weird seeing him and I I didn't realise they were my enemies too. I mean obviously they are. I guess we'll have to continue that fight next time. Range enemies are awful in this game. Yeah, he was hitting me and didn't look like he was... I don't know, his hitbox is a bit weird. It's fine. It's probably a good point anyway. If I had continued, I might have died. Who knows? Oi! What are you doing here? Oh, they killed Glom. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Right. Yeah, we'll have to do that again in the morning. Um, maybe it would be better to have a marble suit? I don't know. It was nice to be able to dodge attacks. 
every once in a while. Um, thank you, Fufu Boss, and thank you, Lose V. I think I'll keep that. Oh, we'll go with the strap we had. I did it, Michael. Nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, I should regen by morning or by night time. Using a Glomer hat mod. Interesting. <laughs> Lightning magic gone. Sedge. I'll clean that up later. Oi. Do I have any? I don't have healing cells. make some. Things are decent for refueling. Yeah, I mean, even the goop is good for refueling too. But, eh. I just, I just collect a lot of goop for things like tree jam. It's good fertilizer as well. Um, what am I... Need... we'll get some ash. Bro. Perfect time. Sad to chuck his remains into fueling something. That's true. I've, I have a small collection. I don't think I've even killed Glum that much in this game because I got a Krampus sack pretty early on. When are we going to get a healing cell skin? Do we want one? I don't know. I think it's a pretty basic item. Right? It's like grass skin. <laughs> when are we going to get grass and twig skin? Water beefaloes have babies? They do! Yes! How cool! Finally! Because they, they released like a poster for one of the updates to Shipwrecked years and years and years ago. And it had those babies on there. But then they weren't even in the game. So it's good they finally add them. Alright, um, we're running out of time. Did I eat all my food too? Fucking hell. Just go with this. I feel like it's gonna be pretty rough though. I guess if I'm really struggling I can just leave. So are they both activated? Are they? 
You see me? Ah, oh, <laughs> it was so close. Oh, you're real. Okay. Oh, uh, where did he go? Oi. I think I'm going to run out of time. Yeah. No, you leave these little shits behind. Come on, man. Hey! <laughs> you eat my food! What the fuck? Alright, I'll try to catch it. Um. Maybe we'll eat another jelly thing just to make it quick. What I should have done, I should have done the fight when uh, we, w we had the moonstorm because then I have the whole day to do it and um, we have the full moon as well. That would have been perfect, but I didn't think of it. Never seen the fight before, seems a pain. It is a bit of pain, yeah. <laughs> it's a pain, absolutely, but yeah, it's fine. You get decent stuff, like you get some gears, you get a green and a yellow gem from the other one, so. Yeah, I'll have to fight the other one in the morning. Oh, at night time again. Morning. Uh, these go downstairs though. Do I have this here? Where am I putting these? I don't know. Uh... I didn't get hit as much this time though, so that was nice. Let's make some food before I forget. Uh... Well, that made it drop yellow and not red. Because red's shit, and yellow is actually good. <laughs> I know it's like not as accurate. But yeah. Thank you, Iago. G'day. They took a bit of creative liberty, okay? Numerous fighting twins for gems. Well... I mean, maybe they are. People fight D-Fly for gems. Remember jellyfish can go in crockpots? Ooh, nice. Wait, could they not before? Oops.
Why they made to drop gems instead of souls of night. Yes, true. Okay, that I can accept. <laughs> also, I love how I just, I craft 40 healing selves and I didn't use, use them at all. Oop. <laughs> he just waits for me to get mighty. Thank you for waiting. I probably don't need it to kill him, but I just want to make sure that I could do it painlessly. As painless as possible. Wolfgang likes the sparkles. Good for you, Wolfgang. I swear, if both of them spawn, I'm going to be very disappointed. Whoa. Oh yeah. Dude! What? Hey. It's kind of weird fighting him. Like, I've already got an eyeball as a pet. I've got an eyeball as a hat. Fighting a big eyeball. <laughs> right, let's take you away from them. Oopsie, you got stuck somehow? Nice, so what is this now? You got the shield of terror. Hell yeah. Now big scary teeth belong to Wolfgang. Nice. So can I feed this on the floor too? Very good. Thank you, Aldini. Appreciate the follow. And a yellow gem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like that molly. Guys, uh, these aren't mine. Let's fight him with the shield. Boop. It is quick. Like you can see the, the animation goes quickly. But I don't know if it's uh, good enough to make me want to use it. I was almost dead. Damn. <laughs> that thing hurts. Fuck it out, I didn't even notice. Cheers, Smosh Face. Thanks for following. Uh, did any of them make it back to my base to kill Chester? Hopefully not. And eat my food? No.
Yeah, I I don't know why Clay went and uh, and updated single player and stuff, but gee, am I glad they did. Like, I never thought I would see the day. They did such a good job. And then they came back and added more. Oh, that goes away. I don't think I'm going to use this. It's nice, but... I think the hat is much better, because it's something you can use more often. I'll keep this for the moment. We need eyeball chest plate. I mean, you got the the armor and then the hat. Well, the shield is armor and a weapon, so it's kind of both. This should be in the first one. Did I make another gem bell? I don't think I did. I'm gonna need one. Oh man. Might have to make a sneaky trip into the ruins. While I'm there I can at least put them back. Oh, I have I have this stuff here. Never mind. One twig. Good. Look at that, me planning ahead. Who'd have thought, huh? Suck at Hamlet, but if I played enough, I'll probably stop sucking. Yeah, that's generally how things go. I, I still can't decide whether I like Hamlet or Shipwreck better. I think they're both so different and they, they're they good at so at such unique parts of the game that it's hard to really put them against each other. I guess Shipwreck is better if you want more things to do. Hamlet is better if you like having stuff to do it with. All right. I need to do a, a big clean in here. I wonder if I should do that before cleaning this out, probably. <sighs> Yeah, watch the guides. The guides are good. <laughs> I'm not biased at all. We have no grass. Like shipwrecked more? Shipwreck just has like an unbeatable vibe, you know? It feels like you're on holiday. Hamlet is uh, treacherous, but it's still a lot of fun. I think Shipwrecked, uh, maybe not the first one or two times you play, but all of the, the bosses in Shipwrecked are just an absolute pushover, you know? Like, I've seen people killing Quacken on day two, or day one, whereas in Hamlet, the bosses are actually hard, like, damn. And the Apocalypse, holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's go clean up a bit. Can we get some sanity? There we go, nice.
Imagine a world with shipwrecked Hamlet and all the stuff from DST and no sub in it. Well, I mean, you can kind of create one. What's that noise? Like, you can build your own Hamlet in Shipwrecked if you want. I tried to do that a bit. I'm not going to dig up the stumps, I think they'll eventually despawn. I also think Shipwrecked has uh, less to learn, it's just, it's kind of more of the classic Don't Starve experience. You just have to figure out how to survive uh, the seasons and the few bosses that will come after you. And if you can do that, you're good, you know, you won't really have any issues. Whereas um, everything in Hamlet is kind of turned up to 10. And it's also, they give you a lot less time. The seasons are shorter. So you need to have your wits about you from the start. I almost feel like if Shipwrecked was your first experience in Don't Starve, you probably could do okay. Uh, but if, if you're starting in Hamlet, uh, you're fucked. Like you're not going to make it far at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He took away my life. It was root. Venomous Spider Warriors. Ah, oh, yeah. See, that plays WX. Hamlet and Shipwreck, WX reigns supreme. You don't get poisoned. You can eat gears. You get so many gears, you can just eat them like candy. Like, you don't even need to make food. <laughs> I did a file where I, I started as WX in Shipwrecked and I, I basically went through Shipwrecked, Hamlet and Reign of Giants in about 120 days because he's, he's just insane. It's too OP. Gear Gobbler, <laughs> yeah. Ah, good times. Nice and clean now.
I don't think sanity is really an issue with lightning because like even if you take damage from the nightmare creatures you get struck by lightning again and then you're good. <laughs> also gears will give you heaps of sanity just right off the bat so don't even worry about it. Uh, eat that. Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate the follow. Kind of elderly, yes. You are now old. Congratulations. You will get your certificate in the mail. Watch my YouTube videos? Oh, yeah. Wish everyone would watch them. <laughs> you know what's funny? There's this guy that I've been following. He makes good content and he's Aussie as well. So like respect. Auss Aussie's got to stick together. And he has, he stumbled upon a really fucking good formula for making videos where he basically will, will just find a new game, uh, you know, like a survival game or a crafting game or some kind of sandbox game. And he'll play a hundred days. And um, then he'll just make a video. It's like, I played a hundred days of blah, blah, blah. And I, I found this guy's channel because I was looking at videos that I could potentially make for Dinkum. And I saw he, he did a video for Dinkum of that formula. I was like, okay, maybe I could do something like that. And then he started making those kind of videos for other games. And he did it for... Graveyard Keeper. It was in your recommended? Nice, yeah. But like, those videos, they were getting legit a million views. This is a guy with, his channel had like 20,000, 30,000 subs when I started, when I like found out about him. A million views, I kid you not. So like, he did Cult of the Lamb, he did Graveyard Keeper, and it's like, I played that game. I made gameplay of that and I was getting like a thousand views. I was like, damn, I played a hundred days. I could have done that. But it's just such a fucking ridiculously good idea that it works. And I mean, the video is good too, of course. Like you can't just make a shit video with a good title and have it blow up. Um, and yeah, he did, he did some other games and I was waiting for the moment where he finally played Don't Starve. And he did recently. He played the single player game. He's, uh, you know, played 100 days of Don't Starve. Even though he didn't really make it 100 days in. I think he died a few times and he just kept going, which is fine. And a million views. Easy. Easy peasy. I, I've only ever had one video get to a million views of playing Don't Starve for fucking 10 years. <laughs> oh man, it's hard to not be like a little... Envious. Um, cat person, dude, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it very much. Welcome in everyone. Thank you for the follows. Um, Ink Nova, Freak Boy, Tommy G, Molly, Gravity, thank you guys. Thank you, Tyson. Hope you're all having a good day. Istia, appreciate it. Um, but yeah. That, that was, that's my story. I, I feel bad that I didn't think of this freaking idea. That's all you need on YouTube. Just an idea. And I, I could have had, you know, a million views. <laughs> I think he's got like 150,000 subs now too. Insane. Oh well.
If you guys have any ideas, let me know, please. <laughs> Alright, back to picking up flint. That it was going to make videos with the DLCs. I, I commented on his video and I was like, you know, you keep going. I hope you persevere. Because I, I would like to see it and I'm, I'm more than happy to have more people in the DST community, you know. I told him he should play Don't Starve Together because it's a much better game. Like I said, like, I, I got nothing against the guy. If you, if you come up with a good idea, you should get rewards for it. I'm just, I'm sad that I didn't think of it. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm angry with myself. I just need to find, you need to find a way to frame your videos. Yes, we are talking about him, Sanguine. How did you know? But yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, I do recommend it. Like, he makes good stuff. You can tell a lot of work went into the videos. Um, I would recommend you check out his, his Don't Start video and, you know, leave a like or sub. <clears throat> and, and try to get him to play some more. I think it's also hard to get people to stay in this community because it is such a difficult game and it takes a while to get good so people often lose confidence or they, they just don't persevere. Hundred Days was big in 2001. Really? I mean like YouTube wasn't even around back then. Do I have an item? No. Oh, 21. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how old are you? <laughs> well, I guess it's making a comeback. Where did I put my, my star? There it is. Like you need to experiment a bit more, try new stuff in terms of types of videos. I mean, yeah, that's all well and good, but what? It's easy to say, oh yeah, just just try new things, but like what? I've seen play Hamlet. I'm a bit, I'm disappointed that he didn't do like survived hundred days instead of just a hundred days, including deaths. Because that would have been a... Um, maybe it's just a lot more difficult, you know. would have taken many attempts, possibly, but... I would have liked to have seen that. Hopefully he continues. But yeah, he's he's got a winning formula. Many people got popular without crediting him. Well, I mean, if it's anything like me, I didn't even know that guy did anything. I don't know who he is, so... I, I could have easily made that video and not credited him because I didn't know. Aria Speedrunner got up to 22 days on his first playthrough on of DST. That's not bad. Algorithm helped him because his content was not niched. Well, I think, because what he did, he, he did a hundred, no, he did like 300 days of Stardew. And then he probably saw that video was doing better than all his other Stardew videos. So it was like, okay, I'll just do that for other games. And it took off. <laughs> I 
I mean, I could probably do a similar thing. I could just look at my videos and see what has done really well. Like I have one video that has double the, video, the views of all my others and I could just make more videos like that. But I just don't think it's as iterable, if you know what I mean. Like the video that did really well was, you know, beginner's tips that I, I wish I knew when I started playing. Like I can only, I can only make so many videos of that before I run out of ideas. But with his formula, you, you can play endless amounts of games for a hundred days. It's, it's just a really good idea. Went back to Let's Play, what's your reason for that? I enjoy making them? Yeah, I don't know, I, it just... I, I explained it in the video. Um, I think I was finding it hard to come up with good ideas, one. And it... I procrastinated a lot, like it made me kind of not make many videos. I think the videos that I made still did really well and I was still happy with them. But at the end of the day, maybe I preferred videos that are easier for me to make. I don't know. Hopefully, one day I get to a point where I can just hire an editor and they can make my Let's Plays <laughs> and then I can still work on the other ones. That would be good. I think it just, it gives me less pressure at the end of the day. I put too much pressure on myself. Thank you, orange jacket, dude. I'm getting really hot. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. I'll be right back. Right. Way of posting is prioritizing what people want. I yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I did do that for a while. I think I I saw the videos that did well on my channel and I made more of them. And I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy it. I did. And there are a lot of videos that I was, you know, I'm really proud of. They took a lot of effort and they did well. But it's just it was harder, like the process was a lot longer. Um, it required much more effort in lots of different steps and it was just it made me not want to do it because it was hard at least this you know it's so much more easy to convince myself oh just you know, just edit for like half an hour you just got to scrub through some footage and cut out some bits that aren't that good like it's easy it's really easy and yeah they they won't do as well I guess but maybe I need to just Find a way to frame it like this this guy did so that they do better. Let's play the nostalgic, glad to see them return. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things on the first video. It was nice to see. I think another reason, um, Sometimes when I edit videos, I go back through my old Let's Plays to get footage. Like when I'm making guides and stuff, I'll go through and see if I did the things that I'm talking about in those Let's Plays. But because I haven't done any for like two years, I don't really have much relevant footage to talk about recent gameplay stuff. So it'd be nice to just to have, you know, a document of me playing the game now that I can look back on in the future. And maybe not just DST, but other games as well. Like, all of the games that I streamed in the last two years, they're in the VODs, I guess. But I don't really keep VOD footage because it's too, too big.
going for what people want is sometimes a bit tricky too because it's only what those specific people want to see like don't get me wrong i'm not making let's plays because that's what the people want i'm doing it for me mostly like you keep that in mind for sure but yeah Just to be clear, I don't think that there's anything wrong with making videos that you think will do well, like do well in the algorithm or whatever. And like, I still plan on making videos that I hope will get lots of views. Like, there's no point being a YouTuber if you're making videos that people aren't going to watch. Like, I'm trying to do this for a job at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not about to just make videos for with five people because it's fun if it's fun as well like that's good that's a bonus is there anything in here? Yeah. Diablo 4? I haven't played any of the Diablo games I I wouldn't know like my head from my ass in Diablo I guess my plan for the for the moment is I'll make my let's plays you know that can be a video that I can I can make pretty easily and hopefully relatively often and then when there are updates you, you know new content or some interesting things to talk about in DST I'll make a video of that as well so that's probably my plan at the moment um, it might expand from there if things change or if you know i change my mind every other week <laughs> so things will probably change but that's my plan at the moment what i do with other games i'm open to it yeah if there are videos or if there are games that would work well with my channel like i think dinkum could be a good one it could work but maybe I'll I'll frame those videos a bit differently. Like DST, I make uh, twenty-ish minute videos. Maybe with Dinkum, it would be better to make bigger videos to kind of just get a lot of it out in one go, instead of like one hundred episode series. I don't know. I'll think about it. Again, if you guys have any kind of video suggestions or opinions or whatever, uh, even like after the stream, I'm always in my Discord. We have a suggestions channel and all that stuff, so feel free to hit me up. Hollow Knight retrospective. I still have all the Hollow Knight footage. I've been holding on to it in case I I feel like making something out of it. Possibly. I don't know if it's uh like because I haven't done a hundred percent of it. I don't know if it would be good to to do just like my playthrough and just like I stopped when I stopped or whether I need to keep going and finish it and then show all of it. I also think I need, it needs to be more than just a, a gameplay. Because like, every man and his dog has played Hollow Knight at this point. You can eat that. where there was a discord yeah feel free to join uh exclamation mark discord if you want the link thank you only seven for the follow
Yeah, it's great if you want to keep up to date with things like streams and videos. Well. There it goes. To hunt the remaining spiders. There aren't many. Hey. Hey Bonnie, how's it going? Fair watching it. I... I don't know. I think you would like it, but... You never listen to me, so... Don't listen to you. What game have you told me to play that I haven't played? I know there are some games we don't have yet, but it's not because I said no to them. Most of them anyway. Yeah, I know. I, I actually turned down Hollow Knight quite a lot. Because people used to beg me to play it back in the day. I just needed to give it more of a chance. Phasmo? I, I don't think I said no to Phasmo. I think I said yes. But we just... Uh, I didn't end up playing it. Or I think you asked me like after my... My Halloween stream. I do dislike horror games, yeah, but I would still play it. How about that? I think that says something, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm just that good of a guy that even though I hate horror games, I would still play it with you. Alright, I think this is sufficiently cleaned. Play it because I'm playing with someone. Well, yeah, like I'm not gonna play it on my own. What's the point of that? Evil Santa stream. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we had a good time. I don't know what the occult items are, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, like Speedy, we have a few games that um, I, I know you have said that we should play, and I've agreed. Like like Dinkum, I know you want to play that. Um, I want to play The Forest at some point, so then maybe we can play the new one later. Um, we'll play Starbound at some point. But there are, I feel like there are more games that I've suggested to you that you haven't been keen on. I can't think of anything that you've said to me, besides maybe like Counter-Strike or Valorant. But I, would, I probably wouldn't stream those games anyway. 
Dying Light? Yeah, we'll play Dying Light at some point. Sea of Thieves, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a bit different because we all agreed to play it. But then Speedy couldn't because of these windows. Um, but then even though we do have it, we still haven't played it. Don't worry about those ones. Okay. What then? My point still stands. Starbound can be fun. Yeah, I think so too. I think Starbound is in a similar kind of category to Hollow Knight. Like, I've tried it a couple of times, but never really got too far into it. I feel like if I gave it a proper go, then I might enjoy it. So... Because it, it looks similar to a lot of games that I've played and enjoyed. Subnautica? Mmm, yes. Subnautica, I think I also need to maybe try and finish. I've played a fair bit of it. I would say I'm about 60% done. Maybe 70. Put him in here. But I, I kind of struggled with Subnautica at a certain point. Because I don't like spooky. Core Keeper, yeah! I, this is how it goes with like me and all of my friends. I just say, oh we should play this, we should play this, we should play that, we should play that. And then when it comes time to like actually playing something, no one really feels like it. Or we just end up playing, you know, party games or something really like you can just jump in and jump out. So then I just end up not not trying to organize things. <laughs> Continue the playthrough? Yeah, we will at some point. We will. I would like to play with more people though, like of our friend group. That would be fun. Do I have any more sewing kits? I think I used them all. Ending of Subnautica is so good. Is it? I wonder, like, if I was to, to pick it up again. Let me see. Hold on. Um, Subnautica. In fact, I think the, the playthrough up to where I stopped is on my YouTube as well. Because that was back when I was doing Let's Plays. So if you want to see how I went... You can see, I've played 15 hours. Um, but I haven't touched it since October 2nd, 2018. <laughs> so, it's been four and a half years since I've opened the game. Let's go. I actually uninstalled it too. That's how keen I was to continue. Um, I need logs, don't I? Let's just make... Let's make a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean two. Why do you need logs? Yeah, I, I get a lot of people are busy, Speedy, and like I don't blame everyone for not being free or whatever, it's just, you know, you try to organize things and then people turn you down 
or aren't keen enough and then eventually you're just like I can't be bothered trying then I'll just play on my own I have enough games to keep me busy anyway Raft? Maybe Uh Saturday though? Uh my Saturday night, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going out. I'm gonna go to the footy. Let's go. What happens when people have single play games to play? What you reckon people aren't playing because they're playing their own things? Oh, whoops! I was gonna feed it rot. Sorry, that's you that needs to rot. <laughs> Uh, let's open up some more of this. This is good. Good food. Especially because I got so much gift wrap. Oh yeah, I was gonna get the fucking spores. I need to do that. I'll just take 40. The rest back in, in there, thank you. Classic Speedy trying to mod the mods. Thank you, way more fun. Adulting sucks. Here, here. Thank you, Crispy. Why did I do that? Por que? Friday or Monday? Ah, uh, both of those days kind of suck at night time for me, and I stream in the morning. Because Friday night is footy, and Monday night is gym. Alright, let's go. I need a bug net. How many will I get? I only need like one. Yeah, I only need one. Or a few. We'll figure it out, okay. We'll, we'll discuss it, I guess. Finally met someone who streams not at 4 a.m. Nice. What time is it for you? I normally start at this time like three and a half hours ago. Okay, mind smash. Thanks for the follow. Big fan. You know what I was thinking? I reckon I'll I'll do a few more things. We'll finish up with winter and then maybe, just maybe, play a bit of forge. Because I did say that I wanted to do some this week when we were doing uh random game week. 
but then I never got around to it. What do you reckon, chat? Might jump on. Ooh. Never played before? Wow. I think, like, we got so many people in chat. If enough people join, that it, it wouldn't really matter if you suck or if it's your first time. <laughs> we'll just get, like, 20 people in there. I don't know, we'll see. I seem to remember last time it didn't even work, so... Oh, I forgot my... I forgot my thing. Ah, oh, it messes up the timing. Never mind. What did they fix, Joe? The forge. I mean, it, it was a while since we tried. What are noob-friendly characters? Yeah, everyone likes Sir Wilson, because Wilson helps you heal, like picks you up if you die. So you can never go wrong. Otherwise, you can pick characters that just like shoot things from a distance. So you don't really need to get involved that much. Refreshed Wilson. I mean, refreshes don't really mean anything in, in Forge world. Double the enemies. Look, we'll see how we go with the main version. And if we, if we blitz it, maybe we'll try Double Trouble. Or Red Light, Green Light or something like that. There's also the Hallowed Forge, which I've never really tried that much. Which could be fun as well. 1.30? No, oh, we could do it soon. I just need to collect a couple of... Uh, a couple of... things. I don't really have much more that I had planned for today anyway, so... People get KO'd in Hello Forge. Oh! Game crash? <laughs> what? Why? Forge time. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Nova. Um, yeah, I was saying, what time is it for you? I normally start at like 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. Sorry, it takes a while to load. My computer's getting old, just like me. Usually tank tentacles with beefalo. Oh yeah, I've I thought about potentially getting a beefalo for myself at some point. It would be nice not to have to run around the entire map all the time. Oh yeah, we got the new skin. You guys want to see what the Twitch drop is? I mean, it was there, but... Oh, 
9.42 a.m. or p.m. Kay needs to go to bed. What is that? 2 a.m. Get out of here. Almost 3 a.m. This is a nice one, in my opinion. I like that. Very good. A.m. Nice. 9 a.m. Cool. Like Perth time. At 1 p.m. Oh, good. Yeah, so we're same time zone. Where's my server? Ah. <laughs> uh, I think I need to turn it off and on. About to go brush my teeth. Okay. Yeah, it's always good to see some other Aussies in chat. There are too few of us, damn it. You know, I was reading... Well, I was reading. I, I saw somewhere... There are like six times as many uh, American Irish people than there are Irish Irish people. Which is pretty funny. I wonder if there are more Australian people outside of Australia than in Australia. There are only like 25 million of us or something. Hey, Keizo. I don't watch footy. Ah, oh, bad. The first game was on last night. I'm so happy it's back. It's been a long summer. When is the next episode for the YouTube DST video you're doing? It's so exciting to see you collect every item. <laughs> Nice. Um, I'm almost done, so it should be, should be tonight or tomorrow or whenever it is for you. The next upload time. Thank you for the bits as well. Love the trend of finding Aussies in chat who don't watch footy. I know, right? What is this? Yay. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait until we get to the good stuff in the series. The start is always kind of samey-samey. You know, you do the same kind of collecting things, killing the same bosses, ruins, summer, winter, whatever. But I feel like we do some really fun stuff throughout the the campaign. Uh, Forge will be soon. I was just going to get like a couple of spores and then we can play. But the game decided to kick me out instead. Wish I could play with you. Sadly, only PS4 because my laptop is a potato. That's alright. Not much you can do about it. But thanks for watching anyway.
Nice. <laughs> see, what does that look like? I mean, I might as well get more while I'm here. What do you guys think is the best color for your crown? Especially those with the mod. Like, that is too much. That's too dark. I think one or two. Like a little baby blue. Baby blue. I make it my pet. Green. Like the Sims. Pink? Yeah, pink is not bad. Oh, did you guys hear about the um, paradoxes making a new Sims kind of game? I'm interested. I mean, they can't do it any worse than EA is doing. Three green, one red, one red. So, two red. <laughs> if my math is correct. Um, I think we're going to do regular forge, but if we do it too easily, we might go over to more difficult forge. We'll see. Yeah, Paradox, they're just, they're coming after EA. Like, they're going for, um, they did, uh, SimCity with City Skylines. Now they're doing SimCity 2. And uh, now they're going to go for The Sims. So, take that, EA. No one likes EA. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Paradox either, but... Surely they can't do any worse. I saw a picture, someone posted how... Um, expansion packs that we had for like Sims 2 or Sims 3 where you would get all of these things in one pack with Sims 4 they've split it into like seven different expansions that are paid separately like this is just so shit that's the only thing that I have concern about with Paradox is because they're known for doing exactly the same thing <laughs> Like, all, if you look at their games, they do the same thing in all of their games. Even City Skylines has like 50 DLCs. So, it's like, you know, like replaces like. Hopefully they do it better, we'll see. Can't bankrupt EA, they'll float with FIFA. Yeah. Games like FIFA and NBA 2K and all of those games, they've been shit for so long. Yet people still buy them. I don't understand. Like, do you have no self-respect? <laughs> like, even on Steam, they get reviews of like 20% favorable reviews. And yet they still sell well. Like, you know it's shit. You can see it's shit, and yet you still buy it? That's kind of on you, man. Same with Pokemon games? Eh, I don't know. I think people are overall content with Pokemon games. Skylines DLC is out of control. Like, I've even bought a few of them myself. I've... I've played less of the game than I would have liked, but it's too much. Every kind of management or strategy game or 4X game, they all have gone down the same route now. They'll just like re-release the same game minus all of the DLCs and then just re release all the DLCs again. So you watch City Skylines, they're going to add you know, disasters, they're going to add weather, they're going to re-add everything that was in the first one as new DLC. Which is so shit. A 
all sport games suck? They do. Are there any sport games that are actually good? Maybe Rocket League? Although, is Rocket League good anymore? Who knows? It's questionable. And is it a sport game? That's also questionable. <laughs> Hey, we made it to spring. Nice. AFL game is not bad. Bro, have you seen it? Looks goofy as. Alright, let's play some Forge. Oh wait, didn't I repair this? How did it get broken again? See, I feel like the best sporting games are games that don't take themselves seriously. Like, if you try to be a soccer game where you actually play soccer with a real team and real players, then that's going to be shit. But if you become a soccer game where you have flying cars and shoot balls that are the size of cars into goals then that's gonna be fun you know <laughs> and that's probably why the earlier uh you know nba games or fifa games were better because they weren't that realistic like you could it was not uh super accurate the mechanics were kind of wonky, but it, it kind of adds to the charm of it. <laughs> so much excited for Forge. Let's see if I still have my Forge game in here. Oh, jeez. Which one is it? <laughs> Reforged. Okay, it seems like it works. Let's let's try. NBA Street Games, yeah, like that. All the old like WWE games on on PS One or PS Two, like they were kind of fun. The new ones look and play like shit from what I've seen. Hey, it works! Alrighty, um, if you guys want to join... Let's see, does the command still work? It still works. Server name, Demon Porge, Forge, <laughs> Demon Porge. Password, Potato. Uh, we'll do Forge Season 2. Difficulty normal. Yeah, we'll do it as default for the first time. Oh man. When did they add these? I have a few of them apparently. Cool. Having lag comp on will crash you? Okay. Yeah, 64 players. I, I think, what was the most that we've had? Like 18 or something? It makes for a pretty quick game. <laughs> But it's kind of good to learn, like, you see the different creatures and what you need to do, so... Yo, look at this guy. 279. Oh my god. Um, what I might even do... I might jump into the voice chat so you can hear me live. Instead of like with the little delay that's in, in the Twitch. So, I'll, I'll go in the dedicated server one, I guess. It's 
So if you guys are in my Discord. Didn't play for ages? Yeah, I'm I'm the same boat, although I'm only level 36. <laughs> I, I still think you will be a fair bit better than me. And if you guys have never played, it's all fine. We're just having fun. I'm not going to get upset at you. Probably. <laughs> I mean, you can see, half the people in here are level 1, like, have never played before. It's all good. Even Speedy, come on, man. Not level 1? What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> I've played before, that's a big lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've never played this game before. Yeah, I've never played. I'm so noob. See, I told you I was a noob. I'm a noob, I need, I need help. Help, y'all. I'll help you, man. I'll hold your hand. I'll t explain what to do. But if you hold my hand, I can't dodge. <laughs> Let's play as Wolfgang, you'll be fine. <laughs> you don't need to dodge. Oh, so you, I, I get hit and then die. Okay. Yep. Alright, right, cool, cool. Good to know. I mean, that that is legit the strategy. Yeah, true. Yeah. Thank you, Ascended Sleep. Appreciate the follow. Why am I level 1 I've played before? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's me. Okay. I don't even know who I want to play. Um... I guess I'll go as Woody. Since I have the best ping. Um, also if you guys are joining from like America or Europe, you're probably gonna lag a fair bit, so keep that in mind when picking your character. Or just don't don't expect too much, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'll play as the runner. Hmm. I knew he blocked my shelf. I, I gotta get that Wilson head skin. I really like that one. The one with the leaves. I forgot what it's called. Bodnest? Expect all my character specific weapons to get taken. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. Don't expect too much, Joe. <laughs> hey, the wolf is here. Look at all oh, the Wilsons. No. Nice. Did I say no? Yeah, all Wilson ran. <laughs> I mean, it's good if you die, you won't be dead for long. Yeah. Speed run resurrection. Alright, uh This is probably a good number. When you change your device your level resets. What do you mean device? Oh maybe maybe you're playing on Windows ten now. Um true. Potentially. It's alright. I'm new. You'll be fine. It's fine, it doesn't matter too much. You're playing much. with a noob. Guys are gonna live. Everyone's gonna be so surprised at how good you are. Yeah. I've never played this game before, guys, alright? Just just giving you a heads up. So, like, I'll be wandering around like a madman. Did I glow? Alright, when you guys have picked your characters, ready up, and then we should be good to go, I think. Quick crash course. 
Um, so when you get in, you fight waves of creatures that get progressively more difficult as you go. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I, I guess it's easier to explain as we go when you can see what we talk about. <laughs> There's also different pieces of armor and weapons drop as you go and depending on who you're playing as they're better for some people than others but we'll I'll try to explain it. <laughs> Rude. No worries, Kezo. Have a good one. Take care, Mr. Lad. Have a good one. Mr. Lad? Yeah. He's alive! Yeah, but Mr. Lad? Uh, lad. It's a lad. Welcome, what? everyone. Hello! See, look. What's this circle? Do I go smash? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, um, Right-click to use your ability. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, fail. What the so fuck is that? Oh, totally. No, that was the thing. Oh, the server's uh, oh. framey. Yeah. Is it framey? Yeah. Do you yeah, guys yeah. too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, why do I have protection now? <laughs> Take that. Game crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um, so, Wicca, do you want the tiara? Do you want to look fabulous? Oh, maybe you have lag compensation. Huh? Because Joe was saying if you have lag compensation, then it will crash the game. Hey. Oh yeah, if you sit in the heels, everything else will fall asleep. So it's a common practice to just like not hit things in there and let them sleep so people can heal. I feel like I'm hitting slower. Maybe I should turn like... Where is that sitting? Uh, hey. Where <laughs> Wait, someone's dead? Okay. Is someone dead? There we go. Spectator. Oh, okay. Hey, my hat! Nice. Yeah, I had to turn my comp off as well. Was, okay. I was hitting every five seconds for some reason. It's like I was doing one hit at a time. Is that... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> You can join? You can join mid-game now? <laughs> oh, it's a spectator, okay. That's cool. What is that? Uh, Whispering Grand. Nice. Fabulous. Oh, be a terror. Is 
There's an extension. Oh, I didn't know that. So we'll just focus on this guy while we while we can heal in here. <laughs> Why are we grouping up? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Stop it. Try to focus on one at a time because otherwise they all do their spinning move and it gets pretty chaotic. Everybody landed. It's the lag. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Thanks for trying anyway. Get out of your shell. Oh. There you go, got him. Oh hey, you're back. <laughs> God. Is that best for you? Do you want uh, that? Yeah, I want to look fabulous. Oh, look at me. It looks so beautiful. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, alarming clock. Cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> it made it in. I've never seen the alarming clock. I don't know what that does. Oh shit. Oh, it just freezes them in place. Nice. <laughs> cool. Pet book. What's a pet book? Uh, but you petrify them. Oh, I see. I was like, you can. There are, are they going to petrify or game? no? Because I want to smash. Okay. Smash these guys. Ow. It poisoned uh -huh. me. He poisoned Wee. me. I stink like shit now. He dead. <laughs> oh, my bad, yo. That was my bad. I did not find that. Hey, you're back. Ah, you poisoned me, but you failed. Because <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> ah. Hey. Yeah. Stop pushing. Alright. Good. You're using your phone. Oh, no. You gotta do what you gotta do. Not spot in that area. Hey. Hiya. Oh boy. Nice. Another boy. Yay. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs> Bring back the big head. I think I'm up. Thank you. 
Uh, let's get you. You want to go? Am I up? Spear. I'm up, There's yeah. a spear over here. Yeah, you're up. Up to no good, that is. Oh, I'm kidding. Nice cave. Good night. <laughs> Good night, cave. <laughs> like that. Wait, come back. Let's go get this bum head. Hey! <laughs> I love doing that so much. Oh! Oh, he wanted to roll you. Oh. Oh, it's just him. Don't worry. Yeah, man. we're fine. We'll be fine. There's so many of us. Although I am gonna die soon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get out of your thing! There you go. Oh, he punched me. Ha! Huh? <laughs> nice. He tried the door, then he failed. Ha <laughs> Uh, who gets this? No, oh, never mind. This is gonna be a fun one. I'll take that one. Who gets? Who wants clairvoyant? All right, I'll take one. You guys take the other one. Are we gonna get a repeat of what happened last time? <laughs> Ow. No! I'm dead. The pigs were coming for me too. I should have taken him up here, I guess. Uh, oh, you killed him anyway. Yeah, we got one. I'm gonna take care of these little bastards. Oops. It pushed me out of the map. Why are they doy doys here? What are they doing? Doi -doi. How do they get here? <laughs> Ow. Ooh, it's framey. Yeah, a bit framey. Thank you, Jazzy! Jazzy! Appreciate the 25 months. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm dead. <laughs> wow. That was quick. Oh, I have no health though. Rest in peace, Wandy. I need to find a way to 
do this on a dedicated server instead of my own. I don't know how. Thank you, time traveled for the biddies. Very kind. Nice. Well done. Alright, heal up. It's going to get tricky from here. Hello, big man. Oh, ugly. Yikes. <laughs> oh wait, the alarm clock runs out? What is this shield up? So for this one, we will stop attacking in the hills, yeah. Ow. Holy yeah. What are my PC specs? Uh, not good enough. I think my my CPU is not great. It's a i7 6700. No. Ow. Alright, let him sleep. Let him sleep. Sleep. I'm alive. Okay, alright. You're gone now. Come on, pick on someone your own size. Yeah, you fool. Oh, God. oh, he do the thing, oh, he do the thing, oh. oh. Alright, go to the middle. <laughs> use it now, use it now. Now, now, now. They're trying, they're trying. Okay. Nice. That's good. Hold on, right. we'll finish them off. Yeah. I picked the little bastards. Come here. That was very good. Oh, what the hell? Why is my mouse that way? <laughs> Why is my mouse that way? I was trying to parry and it's fucking the other way. And thank you, Ella the Egg, for the follow. And thank you, Kitty, for the gift sub. Very kind. Any Wilsons alive? Yeah, come here. No. Hey, come here. Alright, do you wanna. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll take him away. Hey, come I here. I have one health. Probably hey. would be better if I died. Yeah. Come here. No. No. Come to me. Yeah. All right, I'll sacrifice myself. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Hey. I'm this a bike. Come this way. Are you guys all good? I'm not dead. <laughs> okay, you're not good. I tried you're to bugged? buy you guys. I tried to buy you guys some time. I'm struggling to figure out what's happening. Oh. Okay, I'm dead now. Oh, well. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, just, I can just keep him running around for a bit. Oh, everyone's back. It's fine. Alright, right, I'm gonna chill back here. <coughs> oh no, Wendy. Thank you, Ludicia. Okay. Thank you very much for the gift sub. Oof. Oh yeah, yeah, you're good. Ha ha ha, you fool. Ow, ow. <laughs> hey. No. Leave oh. that Wilson Oh yeah, away. he runs. He must be close then. Yeah, he is. Stop he it. He was going after that Wilson. I was like, no, leave that Wilson alone. 
Uh, it's so framey. It's it not is. great. There you go, you're dead, dead. <laughs> I don't remember us having this much issue with it in the past. Well, this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Ooh. Oh, fucking hell. Holy yeah, shit. what is going on? Good luck. <laughs> like, I, I can, can't even use my ability because... It takes so long to load. I'm trying. Thank you very much, Sabir, for the 300 bits. Very kind. And thank you, my little pilot, for the follow. I just, I'll try to cancel that when I can. Alright. Maybe I'll let him sleep. Now, never mind. I sleep. Yeah, the frames are terrible. If we could somehow make it out of this, that would be insane. Yo, Chris, with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Prism. Now, oof. Oh, I'm getting gangbang. Oh, yo, wow, wow. Oh. Everyone's dead. I'm dead. Oh, did he? Oh. What? <laughs> oh, did, I didn't know what's going on. It sounded like he stopped. He got frozen? They if do. we had more frames, we would have won. Yeah, 100%. Oh, well. I guess I'll, I'll try to work out how to do it on the dedicated server, because that should be a lot better. But I don't, I don't think I'll be able to do it for today. I would like help, Thievy, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think it's the lag is our biggest nemesis here. At a three second delay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Not much I can do, I don't think. We'll try again another time. Um, we do, we have a, a forge roll in the Discord, so if you want to be alerted of when we play, if we do it, end up playing it again, then um, feel free to grab that. Got immobilized. Yeah, I... Like, the lag is making it so that you can't even attack as fast as you should be able to, so... People kept attacking when heals. I mean, a lot of people were new. That's fine. But, like, we had enough people that it shouldn't have made that much of a difference anyway. That's alright. I'll, I'll figure out a way to, to make it better next time. I'll sort it out. Never seen so many Wilsons. I'm pretty sure we did a run where we were all Wilsons. Wilson's pretty good. Is you don't have to worry too much about dying, you just come back. <laughs> Australian internet is pretty bad. Well, it's not even that. I don't think it was the internet's fault. You guys are just very far away. And uh, my computer couldn't really handle being the host while I'm streaming. Reduce it to 16. 
Well, we we didn't even have 16 players, though, did we? I don't know. I'll try a few things. We'll come back next time. But yeah, thanks to everyone who did play. Sorry it couldn't have turned out a bit better. Need more players? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it would run better if there were less people, but then it's uh if you have like six people then you actually need to know what you're doing and have people who also know what they're doing. So if we had like six noobs we would get absolutely slaughtered. It's kinda why I don't mind having a lot more players, because then you can have people who I've never played before and it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I don't want to tell someone they can't play because they don't know what they're doing. Um, thank you guys very much for the hype train. I didn't expect that. Very kind. Um, I don't have any of those. I think I had... What are these? Yeah, we'll play egg game after this. Alright, no, nah, none. Oop. Dying to Rhino Bros is annoying. Look, even with a lot of people. Dying to Rhino Bros is fairly normal, like they're tough. You need to time it really well when they go down as well, which is hard to do. Maybe Wanda's freezing thing would help with that, but we like I remember having a lot of difficulty with that anyway. What gets too low? Well, that's what you get. I mean mine what was mine? 34, yeah. Case was 39. Good luck. Well, you gotta guess yourself. Alright. Good luck. Fifteen. There's one up there. And eight, not bad. Nice. All right, I'll take that twenty need to find somewhere suitable for the one to go first. That will do. 21, 22, it's a decent score. Right. Almost. There we go. There, nice. Will I get another? Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> so, and the question was answered before I even asked it. Will I get another one though? Oh, 
That was a decent score. Unlucky on the eggs though. If I had gotten the last two eggs, it would have been over 40 easily. Um, so was that 36, 7? 36, 7. Anyone get close to that? I think it was 36, 6? Very close. Only 100 points off. That's the closest one I can see. Chris was fairly close. Nice. Sabe? What was Sabe's? 36.8. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was closer, I think, too. Well done. Yeah, math is hard. <laughs> That's why you need to play more egg game to get better at maths. Alright, well done. Good guess. Which gave that number to me? Yeah, that's the point. The command is just like if you can't be bothered guessing and it will pick a number that's within range. If you feel like guessing yourself, you can, but most people don't. Um, yeah, I think I might leave it there today. I can close all my tabs finally. On end stream yet, look at Discord. What is going on? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna raid, okay? It's fine. Don't stress, chat. You know, I reckon... I reckon we'll go to Misuto. It's been a while since I... It's been a while since I've played DST. I'm surprised to see them playing, to be honest. But I've been watching a lot of their Project Zomboid stuff, so... It'd be nice to jump over and say hello. Um, so yeah, if you guys still need the drops, feel free to join with me and head over there. Otherwise, thank you very much for keeping me company today. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for all the follows and the subs and the bits. Appreciate it very much. Um, we'll see next week. Yeah, we're going to start a dedicated server next week. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, feel free to stick around and watch that. Or join in on that if you feel like. I think I'm going to open it to the dedicated people first. And then if there are spots, which there most likely will be, um, it'll be free for anyone to join. Open 24-7 so you can play whenever you feel like it. Alright, let's get a raid going. Alrighty, thanks again guys. I appreciate you all. Hope you have a good weekend. Take care.